Today I'm working on a 2000 Toyota Camry. This guy keeps complaining of an oil leak. It's dripping down on his, on his exhaust. Um, yeah, I cleaned it and checked it and it really didn't leak and then I left it sit here for about an hour or two and it's, it's leaking. Um, I'm not sure if it's a rear main or if it's an oil pan, looks like somebody put an oil pan seal on it. Well, a gasket sealed it and slapped it on, anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to uh, how to try to find an oil leak on a car using crankcase pressure. And I got a a vacuum pressure gauge that's hooked up to the oil dipstick tube. As you can see there, and what I do is I, well, I blocked off the PCV valve. I pulled it out and I just put a plastic bag on it and stuck it back in. And then your breather, you block that off, vice grip or whatever you want to use, and that that seals the crankcase. So what's going to happen is when I run this thing, all the blow by from the piston rings and the pistons going up and down it's gonna it's gonna make pressure in the system because it's got no place to go generally I don't like getting over a pound um, so yeah you just gotta kinda watch it but uh, yeah I ran this thing and ran it and ran it and it wasn't leaking at all so I'm gonna put some pressure in here and usually it pushes that oil right out and we'll try to find it It's pushing it out of there. Looking to me like he's got an oil pan leaking. You can see it's leaking right in between that that, that aluminum cover and the in the block. Okay. Yeah, it's amazing what a little bit of pressure can do. Pushes it right out. Not even a quarter pound. Yeah, as you can see, that's, that's what the gauge is reading with the engine off. So, it was pressurized, just not a lot. It doesn't take much though, and you can find a leak real quick.